Alright YouTube, so now what we're going to do is we're actually going to clean one of the striper that we caught. So the key to keep in mind when you're cleaning a striper, number one, you have to watch these gill plates. These gill plate edges are razor sharp and they will cut you. And the second thing is the spines. The top of spines of the fish are also very sharp. So just be careful when you're cleaning them. key thing to keep in mind is you really want to have a good electric fillet knife so in this case I have an American Angler uh, titanium edition I've been cleaning a couple fish before I shot the video so you can see it's a little dirty but uh, it's a brand new knife it's a really good knife for cleaning fish and I'll show you what I'm gonna do I'm basically gonna take the knife I'm gonna go right behind the gill plate down uh, behind the fins of the gill plate once I get towards the backbone I'm gonna turn it sideways and go down to the end of the fish when I get to about right here I'm going to flip the meat fillet on that side and I'm just going to go right down the skin to take the skin off. When you're cutting next to the skin, try and cut about a quarter of an inch away from the scales. That way you'll take out all the red meat and you'll just be able to peel out the bloodline. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do it. You can see the body just cuts right through. Turn sideways and go right through the rib bone. So as you see, I go all the way towards the end of the tail, and I just flip it over. Now I'm going to go right down close to the skin, but not quite. Again, try to keep that eighth inch, quarter inch above the skin. A little stuck there on the ribs. So now I've pulled the fillet, and you can see there's not a lot of red meat on this end of it. Go ahead and do the other side real quick. Rib bones here. We'll check for some pin bones along the backbone. Do the same thing on the other side. And then what you want to do, now you're ready to basically peel the fillets apart. So get rid of all the trash real quick. Grab a fillet. You can see there's the bloodline is here. Um, you can see how close I cut. There's actually parts of the backbone here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pinch on one side of the bloodline and pull the fillet away like that. So now you can see there's no red meat. I have the nice white meat on that side. Drop that in the bucket. I grab the other side, pinch on the other side of the bloodline, and just pull that entire bloodline out like that. So now I've got all the red meat that I can throw away, the white meat that I want to keep. And that's how you do it. I'll do the other side real quick, build time. So this one again has a little bit of uh, red meat, but in all honesty, that's not going to make that much of a difference when you uh, fry it. But if you have a lot of red meat and people that are sensitive to strong fish flavor, it's really good to pull it out. Okay, and there we go. Got most of it, might be a little bit extra here that I can get. Or you can simply trim it up with your fillet knife. Um, but once it's all said and done, there we go. So now we have a nice white fillet. And that's a yummy fried fish if you want to make a yummy fried fish recipe. There you go.